my name is Natalie Prez, and I have an interview with uh, the main man of the band, Doyle, on April 25th, 2013. Uh, can you introduce yourself and tell me what you do in the band, and how long has the band been together? Uh, we've been working together since, uh, been writing since, like, 2008. Mm -hmm. uh, just got the record finished and uh, we put out a advanced copy on the 17th. Mm -hmm. on a, uh, first I did on the, on the dancing tour, dancing 25th anniversary tour. Mm -hmm. And it went up on iTunes. And um, when I get home, we're going to get the ones that with the lyrics in them and uh, next song on it. And then we're going to pull up with a release date. Get the ball rolling. Great to hear. Yeah. Uh, uh, of course, you know, back in the day, for those who may or may not know, you were, of course, part of the Misfits. Do you yourself ever see one day the original lineup to ever get back together? I hope so. I think that would be awesome for the fans, and uh, I would like to do it, you know. Not up to me, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, I say yes. At least for one showcase, that would be cool. <laughs> it would be great. It would be really great, man. You know, it would be great. Do you yourself ever get tired of answering questions about the Misfits? <laughs> no, no. Can you, can you tell me why did you want to make uh, Made in Hell hot sauce that you created? Why did we make it? Yeah. Um, well, um, a friend of mine wanted to make it, and then uh, he would never give me, you know, a sample to give to the guy who was, was, had the money. Mm -hmm. So the guy with the money called this other guy that does haunted hot sauce, and he's, well, he's going to Atlanta, he's coming down, he's going to bring some samples, take one out, and we'll roll with that. I said, all right. And we wrote with it, and uh, it's just a fun thing to have, you know. It's, it's a good sauce, and, uh, you know, I like to eat it. <laughs> What's it been like to be a part of the Danzig 25th anniversary tour and to, you know, be able to hang out with Glenn Danzig again and all that stuff? <laughs> That's like a circus, man. Everybody's a clown here. <laughs> we, uh, we have a good time, man, you know. It's, everybody's easy going, and uh, everybody works hard, and, Got their jobs down. Yeah, it's great, man. It's fun. The songs and mm -hmm. always get so crazy when it all starts over. Yeah, it's fun. All right. Since you know your time with the Misfits, you've branched out and done other projects. Would you ever consider bringing those other projects together, including your newest one, for a big showcase? Uh, no. Nah. Nah, I just want to do the Doyle thing, and uh, mm -hmm. came out good, man. We did two albums at once. Mm -hmm. uh, we, we, we got enough to almost finish the third one. Uh, when I get home from here, I'm going to record the last three songs for the next record. Mix that up, get a title for it, so once we start playing, we don't have to stop to make a record, you know? Mm -hmm. And, uh, yeah, we just want to do that, man. That's where we're at right now. All right. How would you say that this new project has evolved from your um, previous one, Gorgeous Frankenstein? Um, it was kind of, you know, these songs were written at the same time, mm -hmm. you know, and my singer just called me up one day and he's like, uh, he left me a message, a text message, just says, hey, you know, give me a call, I got an idea. So I pulled the call up, I'm like, what's up, man? He's like, hey, we got to change the name of the band. And I'm like, oh, all right, what do you want to change to? to change the oil. <laughs> And see, the problem we were having was people would come to see, see us play. Mm -hmm. Like, if I was opening for Danzig with um, George Frankenstein, 20 people after the show on the meet would be like, I didn't know your band was playing. Did you got a band? <laughs> I found the fucking video. And then when we did our own tour, mm -hmm. I lost my shirt, you know, like tens of thousands of dollars. And uh, we'd get 30, 50 people, and they would be like, I didn't even know you had a band. We just came out tonight. So they didn't recognize me with that name so it's the smartest thing to do 
What can you tell me about your new album that hasn't been said already? Um, I don't know what's been said. I've been on the road since it came out. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. It's, it's tumbling, man. It's good. It's good stuff, man. I like it. You know, it's the only thing that I actually have ever listened to after it's been mixed, just to listen to it, you know, that I've been on, you know? Well, everybody who listens to it, like, a different song doesn't know what it sounds like, so... That's a good thing, I guess. Why did you want to do an advanced release of this album? Because um, I want to enlighten everybody that my band name is Doyle, and I have a band. Mm -hmm. The biggest problem I had was letting everybody know that I had a band with Gorgeous Magazine. Nobody got it. Mm -hmm. You know, I didn't have the right promotion. It's an awesome promotional tour for me. Everybody who's coming to these dancing shows knows who I am. Mm -hmm. My name's on the bill. You know what I mean? Yeah. They get it. So, <laughs> and there's the record. So buy it and take it home. What are your expectations for this release? For this one? Yeah. I just, I want to make a living doing this. Mm -hmm. Rather than have to work a regular job and have like a couple hours a day to work on music rather than all day. See, when people steal music from, uh, it's like online, instead of buying it. Mm -hmm. It's like, say you own the motorcycle manufacturing plant. Somebody came and took a motorcycle. Is that a crime? It's a crime, right? So why, why are you going to steal our songs? When they steal our songs and they want more music, we all got to go get jobs. Mm -hmm. All the people would be so surprised by how many of the so-called rock stars they like have regular jobs. 99% mm -hmm. of them. I know about five people in this business that doesn't have a regular job. Got to make a living somehow. <laughs> well, if everybody's stealing your product, how are you going to do it? <laughs> yeah, true. Everybody's got to go get a job. Now we're not making music. We're working some shit job. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. Did nobody understand that? Nope. <laughs> what do you have planned for the rest of this year? Uh, we're going to finish up. Glenn's still booking stuff. He's booking a lot of shows. We're going to Europe and Canada and... Uh, we're going to do the East Coast and trying to talk them into Japan. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, right now I'm, I'm sending all the advanced copies to booking agents and managers I want to get to uh, represent me. So uh, I'm going to do it right. I can't do it myself. It's just stupid. i going to have, you know, professional people doing it. I know the music part. The business is a fucking brick wall for me. You know? Mm -hmm. I need somebody to pull the play off the board and bust the bus down. But I just... I can't, I can't call the boy. <clears throat> and is there anything else you would like to say or add to the fans out there? I'll uh, just buy the records. Buy the songs, man. You want more? You gotta buy them. Don't steal them. Don't do that to anybody, man. Trying to feed our kids, man. That's our product. That's about it. <laughs>